In the plus 100 kilograms Olympic preview, of course, we're going to look at none other than the great Teddy Renair, eight-time world champion and current Olympic champion, going for his second Olympic title. Can anybody stop him? Of course, the only person that he hasn't fought is Harasawa. It's a possible final, and Harasawa could possibly cause him problems with the Ashiwaza. The last time that we saw him under pressure, Teddy Renair, was when Shinshinui in the final of the World Championships did that Ochigari that almost scored the Yuko. Can we see a surprise at this Olympic Games? Only time will tell. Let's have a little look at the Shinshinui almost scoring Ochigari that he did on Renair in the final of that World Championships. We all know that Renair is the favourite for the Olympic gold medal. The last time we saw him in trouble, it was Shinshinu in the final of the 2014 World Championships, and it was a cracking Ouchi that nearly put him onto his side for a Yuko. What actually happened was that Shinshinu was attacking off the grip. So he had the sleeve grip, and he was looking to get this second hand on, but uh, Renair stopped him by keeping this one high. So what he did, Shinshinui, was he dropped down and he cross-gripped to the opposite side. If you cross-grip, of course, you have to attack straight away. So as soon as he had this grip, that was when he attacked with the Ouchigari. It was a driving Ouchigari. So when he caught it here, he drove here, and René just manages to turn. We looked at it from many different angles, and his top half never actually touched the mat. So it was a win for René and another world title. Can Harasawa cause him any problems at the Olympic Games? We don't know. They've never met before, but he's got to get to the final first, Harasawa, and of course, so is René. But I think René's on for another Olympic title, and it's only going to be Ashiwaza that could possibly cause him any problems. <laughs>